Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber Lynn and today I'm out in Sandy, Oregon with Andrew. And we're just house sitting for a friend, but we don't really have too much we need to do here. So we're gonna head over to Trillium Lake, do some canoeing there. Also, it's our first time back in this area since the wildfires. So it should be interesting to see everything. And then after that, we're gonna come back here and watch movies on the patio with my projector. So let's go get that set up. you guys I'm gonna set up a line on this little awning here and I'm just using this thin rope with some clothespins and I'm gonna use this to secure just like a normal bed sheet onto it and it works really well and I have my Bose speaker for the surround sound um, some citronella candles so we don't get attacked by bugs. I also have a tripod. It's just like a little tripod to hold um, the projector and I will show you guys that in a second. But now I'm gonna set this up. So it looks pretty good. It's a little wrinkly, but once it gets dark and the projector is shining on it, you won't even be able to notice these wrinkles. And I think I've done this a couple times and this is the biggest screen yet. So I'm hoping I can get the projector to fill the whole space. And I'll show you guys this projector. So I am using the mirror projector. Um, I think it's the M75 or something like that. I will link it in the description below. But this is amazing. Um, it lasts up to two hours, I believe. Um, and you can charge it. So what I like to do is plug it into an external battery. That way I can have it playing movies that are longer than two hours or multiple movies. This unfortunately does not come with it. Um, you can get this through Apple or for whatever phone that you have. Um, but since I have an iPhone, I get this little adapter that allows me to plug the cord into it. And I can also charge my phone while it's streaming the movie. 
and these are the some of the cords that came with it so i'm gonna get this all hooked up and show you guys what it looks like really nice it just plugs right into your phone and we downloaded three movies we have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone the Revenant and wrong turn so we'll probably watch at least two of them definitely a scary movie and then it's gonna be a hard debate between the Revenant and Harry Potter As you can see, it's really bright, so I can't really check where the projector is on the screen. So I'm just gonna have to wait until it gets a little darker, um, but till then, I think we're gonna head to the lake. Ready? Ready. says that Trillium Lake is closed <sighs> so fingers crossed that it's open that would really suck I mean I guess there's other lakes in the area um, that we can try to go to but Trillium's really pretty so we're hoping for that one it says Trillium Lake is closed for season due to windstorm damage visitors may walk to either end of the closed section but it is not possible to walk all the way around the lake at this time Oh, so... So, maybe? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I don't really understand that because it says you can still walk around partially even though it's closed for the season. I don't know, I'm kind of confused. But I guess we'll find out when we get there. Whoa! So, Silent Rock is coming up. What is the legend? Basically, if you talk while driving past this rock, legend has it, you'll have a bad day. <laughs> yeah, so we have to turn everything off when we pass Silent Rock. All these cars here, so. Well, should we try Frog Lake? Damn, we really can't. Yeah, go they closed the gate on us. We can walk with it, can't we? Mm, dude. Is it far? Yes. Damn. No. No way I'm walking. <sighs> so the gate is closed. Okay, so that's we're gonna try Frog Lake and hope that that's open. Otherwise, no canoeing. But I really want to canoe. Everyone is so disappointed. People are walking. <laughs> Yeah, people are walking in, but... No way I'm doing that at all. That's a bummer. No way I'm doing that. It's already 3 o'clock, so... We're running out of time. I mean, we have a few hours, but we want to, like, hang out at the lake for a while, not just, like, shoot sunset and leave. But we'll see. Alright, Frog Lake, here we come. Do not mind my um, phone case. It's biodegradable and it's starting to <laughs> turn into nothing. But this case is pretty cool. It's by Pella. 
Okay, well, apparently Frog Lake is nine minutes away, so. It doesn't say it's closed. So straight. You would never think that there was a fire close to here because everything looks so nice, so. Thank goodness. about taking the canoe ski off the cars now. So we made it to Frog Lake and it looks really nice, but on Instagram it looks a lot bigger. <laughs> but that's okay, there's still a really cool view of Mount Hood and it'll be fun to paddle around for a little bit. But um yeah, I will show you guys as soon as we're done taking this canoe off the car. I was just talking to the guy over there and he thinks uh, that they were scooping up water for the forest fires. Oh yeah, that makes sense because it is kind of dry right now. You can kind of see where the lake used to sit. It's pretty crazy how much water is gone now. Are you in? Okay. <laughs> this lake is so nice. I totally underestimated it when I saw it from the road. So I feel like this is the last week of summer weather, even though it is technically fall right now. Been out here for about 20 minutes. Haven't seen any frogs yet at Frog Lake. So it's 3.45. We have a long time till sunset. 
and this lake is so small I think we went to the end and back in maybe five minutes it's still really nice and it's a beautiful day to just flow I'm just I'm sad I didn't bring my swimsuit I think I don't know I thought that we would be paddling for a long time and I didn't think it was going to be this hot here um, but we are in direct sunlight so we're debating what to do we're debating if we should make some ramen in the boat in the canoe or I don't know what do we do we have a long time till sunset maybe I'll take a nap in the canoe because I'm pretty tired Look, and there's a, some kind of peregrine falcon That was so cool! Got it. That was so crazy. You just snatched a fish. I think that's the first time I saw a bird catch a fish right out of the water. We're gonna go to shore and make some food and relax because we've paddled around this lake probably at least 30 times. So uh, yeah, we're gonna wait um, until like it's a little darker so we can take photos and videos of sunset here. Stand up. Don't stand up, please don't. Please do not, no, no, no. I'm already sitting backwards. This is a really bad idea. Please do Is this what paddle warning's like? I don't think this is how you're supposed to do it. doesn't really feel safe. Yeah, no. Really, there's a spider in my head? Yeah, no. No. Spider? No, <gasps> oh, there was a spider! Dude, don't kill it. I'm not killing it. Oh my God, there was a spider in my hat. Here. Oh no, it's coming towards me. This is my worst nightmare. Here. Take your hat. Okay. Holy crap, what kind of spider is that? Is that a recluse? Please don't go by me. Dude, don't kill it. I'm gonna let it out. Oh no! Oh no! I'm gonna tip the boat. We gotta get out of here. Dude, be very gentle with him. He's delicate. I'm gonna by you because you're not scared. I'm scared. You gotta just leave him right there. I have like mild arachnophobia. There he is. <laughs> it's scary. What kind of spider is that? Is that poisonous? Uh, that's just a brown recluse. That's they not a wolf spider. They only kill humans like twice a year. Oh my god. god. I do feel bad for him. I don't kill spiders. I try not to kill spiders. So we're going to try to release him on land. But boy did that give me the chills. I cannot believe there was a spider just hanging out for this boat ride on my head. I... I don't even know how he got up there. He must have shot his web because I had seen the webs on the front of the boat. Okay. I feel like he's gonna climb on me. Uh, yeah, I don't see him anymore. <laughs> I see him. Okay. So we are just getting back to the shore. Slowly but surely. Oh, look, he's facing your way now. Oh, I, yeah, I see him. I got my eyes on him. Oh, here, just use a paddle. He'll, he'll crawl on it. He's scared. I'm trying to get you out of here, bud. Oh, well, there you go. Don't put him in the water, though. He's out. Okay. So, we're gonna use my little stair stuffer that I got from Walmart as a chair because Drew's gonna take video or photos of me canoeing by myself, but my canoe is a two-person canoe and the seats are very, like the ones at the far back and the ones at the far front. So you can't just sit in one without it tipping. So we're making this like little makeshift seat here. Actually, that'll be perfect because I can put my legs around this and sit on it. And then that way it should be, be well-balanced. Yeah, because this is the front. I think that this will be perfect. 
maybe one day I'll install a seat right here. But yeah, this should work for now. And it seems like the water is getting a little more calm, which is nice. But I think we're gonna make some food. So we were gonna make some food and I forgot my little pocket rocket top that goes on my fuel. I can't believe I did that. But it's okay, we're making a really big dinner tonight, so we'll just be extra hungry for dinner and I'll be able to finish my whole plate. So I'm on the block and the step up box is working perfectly as a seat and the canoe is balanced. So far so good, hopefully nothing weird happens, but I think I might use it more often so I can solo canoe. We're just waiting for the light to get good, but the water looks amazing right now. It's getting more still. I keep seeing a little fish in the lake. I really wish we had walkie-talkies because I cannot hear Drew if he's trying to call me. We don't have service out here. Drew is taking um, pictures of me and I don't know where he wants me right now with the canoe. person talking to myself in the boat right now but it's okay it'll look cool it'll be great during the vlog i'm gonna paddle to drew and turn my camera off so i can conserve the battery for a little bit and then called Frog Lake. These fish have been jumping around it like crazy and maybe it's because they jump around like frogs. I don't really know but that's gonna be my story for why it's called Frog Lake. <laughs> So we just took some photos for sunset. It was really pretty. I don't know if I got a lot of video of it, but hopefully I guess I'll find out when I'm editing this video. But now we're gonna strap the canoe to the car and head back and make some dinner. So I will see you guys shortly. Oh, got that on faster we pull this towards than I you? thought. All right, three down, one more to go. Get it back safe. We just got back to the house and before we start cooking, I'm gonna change into my Close. <sighs> Making some quinoa. Trying to clean it right now. And we've got some olive chibata. We're gonna make some black lentils, potatoes, and also green beans. So it should be pretty good. I always add cayenne to everything, especially quinoa. And also garlic, lots and lots of garlic.
so stuffed and Drew is currently eating the rest of my plate. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good, so we can't let it go to waste, but we, we have dessert and I don't know if I can eat it right now. Um, and we also want to make some popcorn, but I just, I shouldn't eat anymore. I've been eating like crazy this whole pandemic. And my pants are really tight now. But I still might have to make some popcorn. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go finish setting the movie stuff up and make sure that the projector is lined up with the screen and put some twinkly lights out there. so awesome okay so this is the first time I've put it on a screen this big and it works perfectly this is so cool this is huge okay. now we just have to turn off all the lights and it will be a lot better and you won't even notice any of the wrinkles always make popcorn with raw kernels. Usually I'll get it in bulk, but I was shopping for this quick. And I'll use some kind of hot seasoning, um, but I actually have this really awesome ghost pepper hot salt, and it's really good. I will also list this in the description box below. And I like to use coconut oil, lots of that. and. Also nutritional yeast because it gives it a cheesy flavor. So we just finished up the movie and it got really cold outside so I think we're going to call it a night but I hope you all liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell and come wander with me in the next one.